please welcome your host on Wipeout, Paul Daniels. A poem by Paul Daniels, age 21 and a bit. Thank you. <laughs> Roses are red, violets are blue. Wipeout are the best game show on television. There you go. <laughs> Terrible poetry, but great sentiments. Welcome to the show. And here's tonight's trio. We're going to start off with Carol Sampson. Hello, Paul. I live in Stevenage and I'm a housewife and mum. My husband's Dave is a singer and he proposed to me one night after singing in a club full of people, You Send Me. Oh, isn't that <laughs> romantic? Isn't that nice, eh? Thank goodness. He could, he could have been singing, you know. I, who have nothing. <laughs> yeah. You'd have turned him down, wouldn't you? Let's hear from Martin Knight. Hello, Paul. I'm married to Laurie, we've, and I live with her and my two daughters, Harriet and Beth, higher girls, in Dewsbury. I'm a sales manager, but my greatest talent is being able to take things t apart, uh, but then I can never get them back together again. <laughs> you know, the fellow who trained you does all the odd jobs on our house. <laughs> <laughs> Same fella. And here we have Penny. Penny Clark, isn't it? Hello, Paul. Yes, Penny Clark. I live in Devon. I've been a policewoman for over two years and I really love the job. I'm single right now and some people call me Tuppence. Tuppence? Oh, <laughs> yes, because you're a penny and a copper. Yeah. So there you go. So in fact, you're Penny Clark, aren't you? So yes. you're PC PC? Yes, I am. Aren't you? WPC PC. Oh, WPC PC, yes. And have you got a computer? No, I haven't. Oh, that's a shame, because it would have been WPC's PC PC, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My brain's gone now, so let's play Wipeout. <laughs> unit of currency. Hey, spend it, kids, spend it. Eleven of the units are currency from around the world. Eleven of them are. And that means five of them are. Avoid them, win the money. Carol. Punt. Punt. Tonight's mystery prize winner can always be in, even when they're out, with this combined telephone and answer machine. Dina. Dina. Zlotti. Zlotti. Kronos. Kronos. Rayal. Rayal? In Iran, one of them is worth a hundred dinars. Uh, lek. Lek. Dirham. Dirham. In Morocco, one dirham is worth one hundred centimes, and seven are worth one pink panther. <laughs> <laughs> dirham. 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 Yeah. You've heard it. Yes, go for it. Lev. Lev. Penny. <laughs> that wasn't a hint. <laughs> you can go ahead if you like. Uh, You've got no. £220, pound. he's passing to you, Penny. 50 50 at the moment. There's four right answers, four wipeouts left. I haven't a clue. Uh, a fila. Some policewoman you are. <laughs> eh? <laughs> I've got a clue. A fila. <laughs> no. Filas, it means having threads or wires. All right. So, Carol, collect £80. Pounds. A lem. A lem. <laughs> lem is a lunar excursion module. You can go riding around the moon on a lem. The little <laughs> tune says you've won a lem. All right, there it is. Very nice little machine. Martin, it's your turn now, and you've got eighty pound coming up if you can avoid the two wipeouts. Le or Liu or <laughs> however it's pronounced. Le. <laughs> Pass. Pesa? Pesa. <laughs> Carol? Soma. Soma. <laughs> is an imaginary perfect drug in Brave New World. All right? So at the end of that, Martin, you're in the lead with £300. <laughs> Fencing. OK. And on the grid, we have 16 expressions, and I want to know which 11 of them relate to fencing. All right? So, Penny. 
A repost. A repost. Um, a counter parry. A counter parry. Breaking ground. Breaking ground. A quarte. Quart. Quarte. A quart. Pass. Pass. Carol. Divertissement. Ah, divertissement. <laughs> Coupe. Coupe. Frossement. Frossement. Pass. Seeding Paris. Pass. Pass. Carole. Fouet. Fouet. <laughs> development. A development. Pass. Penny, you've got £170, £90 coming your way. Uh, flesh. Flesh. Pass. And it's Carol's turn. Carol, nothing to lose, £100 to gain. Battery. A battery. <laughs> A booby prize for you. A battery. <laughs> yes? What do you think? Yes? Martin, £490, two right answers, two wrong answers. Give me a fencing thingy. Balestra. A balestra. Penny? Penny? Trompement. A trompement. Right answer. <laughs> Places you can wear. Now, the Afghan coat and the Afghan shawl are named after Afghanistan. <coughs> that doesn't take a lot of working out, does it? Eleven of these items of clothing are also named after places, and they're the ones you've got to find. First answer, £10. Penny. A Guernsey jumper. A Guernsey jumper. <coughs> yes, that's named after a Channel Island. Go on, then. A jersey. A jersey. Named after a Channel Island. Panama hat. Panama hat. <laughs> Named after a Channel Island. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Computer stuck, right. It's after Panama in South America, but it is made in Ecuador. A uh, cardigan. Cardigan? <laughs> £430 <laughs> down the drain. Oh, ecky thump. No, sorry, Penny, that's a wipeout, you see, because although Cardigan is a place, the actual garment was named after Lord Cardigan, and he's a fella. If he'd been called Lord Higginbottom, we'd have all been wearing Higginbottoms, wouldn't we? <laughs> Keep us warm in the winter. Shame, really. All right, it's over to you, Carol. Cashmere jumper. Cashmere? <laughs> Cashmere jumper, named after Kashmir in India, but spelt a bit different, that's all. Balaclava helmet. Balaclava helmet. <laughs> yes, yeah, very useful where it comes from. Balaclava in the Crimea. Pass. Pass, pass, pass to Martin. Thanks. Martin, hands clasped, praying he can get one right. £590. Going against £60. Makino. A Makino. <laughs> which is a coat named after an island between the lakes Huron and Lake Michigan. Pass. £650, keeping it. Penny, you're in for £70. A Homburg hat. Homburg hat. <laughs> named after a place in Western Germany. Jodpers. Jodpers. <laughs> Riding breeches, named after Jodpur in India. Pass. OK, you've got £150. Carol's got £90. There's still three right answers to be found. Unfortunately, there's still four wipeouts. This next one's worth £90, which would double your score, Carol. Duffel coat. Duffel coat. <laughs> named after Duffel, which is a Dutch town near Antwerp. You've got £180. Pass, please. Martin, you've got £650. There's... <clears throat> I've got to tell you, there's two right answers, but there's four wipeouts. Tuxedo. Tuxedo. <laughs> Named after a famous club in Tuxedo Park, New York. You've got £750. I reach out with my psychic mind and I have a strong feeling you're going to pass. 
Correct. Yes, <laughs> I get the little intuition comes here, you know. <laughs> There's still four wipeouts, Penny, be warned. There's only one that's named after a place. Astrakhan coat. Astrakhan coat for £110. Yes! <laughs> Lambskin with curl wool. <laughs> to a city on the Caspian Sea. What have we got here? We've got a telephone answering machine for Carol and a space buggy and a battery and £180. Marnie's got £750 and Penny's got £260. But that means you've got to lose your Carol, but look what you're going home with. Lots of goodies. That's and a lot of laughs, I hope. Hope you had a good time. I, oh, I nearly forgot to mention it. The wipeout umbrella. Oh, yeah. No <laughs> home is complete without one. You two guys, Martin and Penny, you're going on to play the wipeout auction. <laughs> going to decide who's going to play for tonight's star holiday prize, OK? We're going to play a wipeout auction. The money you've won, good news, £750, Martin, £260, Penny. Can't be taken away from you. It's yours to have and to hold, all right? And the subject is... Meaningless songs, all right? You've got the most money. You're going first with meaningless songs. You've got the choice of opening the bid or passing it to Penny when you see these answers. <laughs> Now, when I don't know the words of a song, I sometimes hum along to the tune, don't we all, right? Eight of those titles have enjoyed top 40 success. All right? Eight of them got into the top 40 in the BBC singles charts. And where you go, Martin, how many can you spot? Five. Ooh. Penny? I'll go for six. Fill your boots. Da do 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 da 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 da. Da do 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 da da da. That was recorded by the police. <laughs> <laughs> Number five in 1980. Yeah. Um, Tiddly Po. Tiddly Po. <laughs> You were thinking of ying tong, ying tong, ying tong, ying tong, ying tong, weren't you? Yep. No, never got there. So, Martin, name one to take the first grid. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By Georgie <laughs> Fay. Number one in 64. What were the wipeouts? Those were the wipeouts. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, 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 tum, ti, tum. All right. Never mind, Martin, there you go, you've got the first grid and you're in charge... Uh, no, you're not in charge of this grid. That goes down to Penny this time. What's your title, Penny? Let's have a look. Children's BBC. Children's BBC, the answers are... <laughs> All right. For the last ten years, BBC children's television has been introduced by on-screen announcers. Eight of these people and puppets have regularly done the job. How many can you spot? You've got to make a bid or pass the bid. Five. Five, OK, we've got a claim of five. Martin. Seven. We all know what Martin wants his boys and girls, <laughs> don't we? Penny. Go for it. OK, <clears throat> Martin, you have to name seven. Philip Schofield. Philip Schofield. You now have to find six more. John Leslie. John Leslie. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry, that's a wipeout. The wording is very specific. The children's programmes on BBC television, and I read it, are introduced by on screen announcers. Yeah, okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Not the programmes yeah. themselves. Name one, Penny. Andy Peters. Andy Peters. <laughs> well, now it's on. It's one grid all. OK, the wipeouts left were... You found one. Anthea Turner, Chow Baker, DJ Cat. Yeah, OK. Never mind. One all. All to play for. And it's back to you, Martin. You've got control of the grid once you get this title. 
Left-handed terms. Left-handed terms. Look at these answers. We've all heard a left-handed person being described as cack-handed. Which eight of these expressions are found under the entry for left-handed in the chamber's thesaurus? Thesaurus? Two. Two words uh, for left-handed. Alternative words for left-handed? Three. Three? Four. Four alternative words for left-handed? Name them. Southpaw. Now you've got to find three. Gauche. Gush. Now you've only got to find two. Awkward. Awkward. Very good. And you're looking for one more to go to play for the holiday. <coughs> Dexterous. Dexterous. Penny, you need one. Decani. Decani. <laughs> Martin, it's back to you. You need one. Sinistral. Sinistral. Recto and offside are not in the thesaurus as left-handed. So, Martin, you're going to be playing for the holiday. Penny will have to lose you. You've got 260 pounds and a brolly. OK? See you now in the uniform. <laughs> Bright yellow brolly up. <laughs> They'll know who you are in Devon, I'll tell you. Yes, thanks for being such a good sport, good player. And, Martin, you've got 750 pounds now, an opportunity to play for the holiday, and you've got a minute to win it. Tonight's wonderful Wipeout Star Prize is a fascinating trip to New England. Picturesque villages, rolling meadows and sleepy provincial towns, clapboard houses and churches. New England is a home from home. Visit Cape Cod and Martha's Vineyard and sample the seafood in this wonderful part of the USA. Great holiday. That's a great holiday. And these are the Wipeout Airline tickets. More leg room on Wipeout Airlines than any other, any other airline. I need that. No? No seats. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's see the subjects. Dog breeds. I think that's fairly obvious. All right. Fairy tales. Children-type fairy tales. Hitchcock, must be about the movies. And Dickens. Ooh, could be book titles, could be characters in the book. Hitchcock. Are you a Hitchcock fan? No. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Hitchcock, bring it up. Where is it? There it is. All right, show me the answers. Which of these films were directed by Alfred Hitchcock? Directed by Alfred Hitchcock and the six of them, all right? You've got 60 seconds, a minute to win it. Time starts now. Must have been the right one then. Oh. oh, both right or both wrong, that means. Corner must be involved. Oh, come on now, come on! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> when, we, when you watch this go out on air, you're going to go insane because you went all the way around the right ones. Have a look, show him. What, what, what did he get right? 
You see that? Mm. And you're pushing them and pulling them and pulling them. High anxiety, crack of the middle, both wrong, OK? The, uh, where's the missing ones on there now? Just as you finished up, yeah. And mm. you had them both on, mm. didn't you? Ah, oh, oh, oh. bit of <laughs> brain panic there, I think. Yeah. Never mind, Martin, what have you got? You've got £750, all right? Not the holiday, but that's worth coming for. So congratulations on that. Wipeout umbrella, of course. Thank and you. we'll see you next time on Wipeout. Goodbye. <laughs>